Welcome along and welcome to this Let's Play on Lone Oak Farm. We are starting today on the first day of spring. Uh, we've got, uh, we're starting with two things. The first thing is this. This is a beast. Uh, this is uh, a Ford Velociraptor. Uh, it is a £300,000 truck. Um, so we're starting with that. With this is this is my uh, my one big concession on here. I really really love this mod. It is absolutely gorgeous. The other thing we're starting from on here, or starting with on here, uh, is we're going to be starting with the main yard. So if we look on what the purchase stuff, we can't sell the outer bit. The outer bit though is uh, zero pounds. Let's change our game options. Where are they? Can I not change it from in here? Oh, there we go. Money units. Dollars. There we go. Uh, so, yeah. So, uh, so that and uh, and as I said, we've got the main uh, area here, which is worth about 267000 So, normally I'd start with these Let's Plays with 5 million. We're starting it with 450, uh, sorry, 4,500,000 to take advantage of that. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We need to pick our first fields, though. So, I'm going to put this to the chat. And, uh, and ask which field should we do? I, th I kind of want to do some stuff around the main yard initially. I want to keep some fields around there. Oh, let's see what needs what, though. Uh, so what is needing plowing? So pretty much all the fields around us need plowing. 28 would be a good field to start with. Uh, that, would, that would be really cool. So I think... Uh, we're going to want some grass fields and we're going to want some uh, main fields. So, uh, initially, to get us started with some work and get us doing something, I'm going to buy 28, 32, 33, 41 and 42. I think those group of fields will be good. So, uh, that is... Uh, so, that's just under a million. That is much less than a million. Uh, and that is... Oh, wow. I think we could take one more field. I think we might take 43. So take that lot there like that. Uh, might be a good set. Or maybe those two there. Yeah, let's let's start that. 28 and 41. Yeah, I think 28 and 41, definitely. So we'll take 28 uh, and we'll take 41. We're going to do mainly cows and chickens on this match. Uh, 43. Where is 43? Okay, we'll take field 43 as well. 45. Okay, we will take 45 as I've not done that field before as well. Right, I think... Uh, so we've got four fields. Uh, we've got one grass and three arable. I think I want to take one more grass. Yeah, we'll definitely take 33. Yeah, we've got two big grass fields. We'll take 42. Uh, and that's where we're going to end our spending because that actually is a lot of money we've just spent. Right, so we have got to buy some equipment. We've got two million left uh, and we want some fairly big equipment on here. The big thing I want to start with, I'm glad this Steiger is not that expensive because we're going to want that. This is the big tractor we're going for. It is going to be a large whack of our remaining money. Um... But it is a cracking tractor. So uh, we want to get uh, GPS on it. Uh, engine setup. Now, to go for the max engine setup on this is going to add... It's going to take it up to 650. This is mainly case we're going here. That is a lot of fields for seasons. But we're doing... Oh, that reminds me. We do need to do that before we go any further. We need to alter our seasons to six days. So we're doing six days. Uh, we're going to do a uh, um, a day a um, stream on this. So uh, yeah, we've got we've got a few cheaper tractors. So we're going to look at spending about a million on our tractors. The big tractor on our farm is going to be uh, is going to be this modded case. Uh, we're going with US configuration. Uh, we're going with the AFS. Uh, we want the rear linkage because that's going to be useful. Uh, wheel setup. 36. Okay. Now, 525 horsepower. 
I think 525 horsepower is actually going to cut it. If we find ourselves needing more, we can always up it. So uh, I'm going to start with that. There we go. So let us buy this as our first tractor. Absolutely perfect. Whoops. Don't want to do that. So there she is. This is our case 470. Uh, massive amount of money on this. Uh, and the first thing we want to do is we're going to get a piece of equipment that allows us to plow it. Yeah, we will go for the subsoiler. Actually, you know what? I've not used this bed now. This is, uh, this is a very interesting piece of kit. So maybe we should use that. 40,000 is not bad. It takes... Use it, fertilize it. So we can fertilize with it as well, actually. Let's try this. Absolutely, let's try this. So we're going to buy this. Uh, which also, we then need to get it back to the farm. So, start up our quad track. We want to take off the mini HUD. Uh, I also want to turn this off. So, I've also updated my GPS mod. Right. We also have manual attach set up. get this back to our farm uh we will try it on a fairly difficult field first uh, but we need to get this back to the farm because we need to start setting up our farm the other thing we've got is we've got a really expensive combine i want to buy so uh this could be a case of us having to uh us borrowing the combine or loaning le leasing the combine for that time uh because uh yeah we, have bought, we may end up selling one of these fields, to be honest. It is... Uh, we've got... So, my plan is to get four tractors, I think. Um, I want two large tractors. So, we've got the older Steiger I want to get my hands on. Uh, we've also got um, another large case I want to get my hands on. Um, but I've got, to, I've got to watch it because, yeah, I have maybe overspent a little bit on the fields. I think we may have to return one of these fields because I think we've gone a bit further than I would have liked. Right, so we're going to get down to our farm. Uh, one thing we don't have on this is we don't currently have anywhere to load seeds from on here. So I am going to put that in. So let's purchase a placeable. Yeah, Global Company is here. Is it Shift G? Control. Ah, there it is. Right. Activate that, please. Back. 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 Right. Now I've got place anywhere on here. Uh, we can go for miscellaneous. So we, what we want is a fertilizer station. Now what's this look like? Okay. That's pretty cool. Uh, I want to put them here. I'm going to put them down this end of the farm here where the fertilizer stations and things have previously been. Don't know why I can't place it there. I can place it there. I can't place it there. What about on this side? Okay, we're going to have to place these out this way, I think. Now, does this have a specific direction this works? It looks like it. So we will put these down the side here, like that. Right, and open up. There we go. That. Filled with fertilizer. I was being. <laughs> there we go. So that now has a whole load of fertilizer in it. And we're going to go and try this out. So, which of our fields needs to be plowed? So, we need to plow 32, 
42. Uh, 32 and 42 need plowing. And the edge is actually a 43. But I'm not going to worry about that too much. Yeah, 32, which we don't own actually. Uh, only 42 needs plowing. So that's not a bad start. We actually have bought lots of fields that don't require planning. And uh, don't require plowing, sorry. So unfold. Yeah, unfold this. Like so. Oh, wow. This is not a piece of kit you can reverse. At all a piece of kit you can reverse. I can see why this kit piece of kit might have an issue with course play. Right, so let's set ourselves up. We'll drop it down. Turn it on. And away we go. If we can keep it nice and straight, we can very quickly get our GPS sorted. Like so. Bring up the menu. Uh, auto width it. No offset. And away we go. Perfect. use GPS and do alternate rows makes this much much easier I think this got updated and it no longer drinks fertilizer as it once did this is a meaty piece of kit and I'm really really loving it on this it's going to take us a little bit longer to do these fields with this on here, but they will be fertilised. And thankfully, we only have one field to do at the moment. Remember working this with the uh, uh, with the big bud in FS17, and we used a similar size piece of kit because we used the culti plough. Uh, and this is, I mean, this is faster than ploughing it the other way. And of course, the beauty of this bed now is that we are are also fertilizing the field at the same time. What I've learned about seasons from using it so far is that the initial uh, springtime, no point in rushing pretty much to get these uh, to get stuff seeded. Uh, you can wait a little bit. This is one of the wonderful things about GPS and one of the things that real farmers do is use GPS in this way. So they will do alternate rows because it's actually easier to make the turns. Uh, and this one's a perfect example. So we can, uh, we want to go around here and then make this turn. Here, like so. Nope, wrong. I don't want to do it there. I want to be in this row here. So we'll work our way across the field one way and then work our way back the other and then do the headlands is the way we're going to be doing this. I am going to go and have a look at our field setup because I think we are probably going to have to sell something. And I think it might be 28. Oh, wow. Yeah. As awesome as 28 is, I think we might have to sell it in order to actually afford all of our equipment for the farm. After the first year, we might actually be able to um, we might actually be able to buy 28 back. But at the moment, I think 28 is uh, probably out of our price range properly. And it's actually because we're using a Midwest um, Geo for this, we are going to be able to start seeding next time as well, uh, which is good news. Uh, but I want, as I said, I want to get a separate cultivator seeder set up. Because uh, we can get more stuff, I think, for that. Especially especially with that case cultivator, the big case cultivator, only being 10,000. Uh, and it comes with this case um, mod. Uh, I, think we can, uh, I think we can have a play around with that. Uh, and that means we can get probably, probably get the Great Plains or something like that. The Great Plains that we've got on the, um, 
thing. I'd love to get the Great uh, Great Plains with a fertilizer tank. There was one you could get that had a fertilizer tank. You could also get liquid fertilizer and put on the back that fertilized while it seeded, which would be brilliant for seasons. Because then the only thing we have to do is spray for weeds. Yeah, so looking at this, we own field 28. I think our best bet is probably going to be to sell it. I want to keep field uh, 43. Uh, sorry, 45. Um, and actually, I didn't realize we hadn't actually bought 34 and 35. Uh, do I go around the headland or just leave it as is? I will be going around the headland. So we've got the headlands to do next. Uh, to finish up this field. Right, so we are going to attack the headlands now. Yeah, I'm gonna come out here. And away we go. There we go. And... Ah, we can get out of the field at the bottom here. Perfect. Right, turn it off. Fold it up. And we'll head into our yard. Now, I kind of need to put this somewhere that's a drive-through. Or we'll just park it outside. Because there's no... Well, I might be able to reverse this. Let's give it a try. This is going to be one of the most horrible reversing jobs ever. Uh, yeah, actually, I'm not putting that in there. I know where I'm putting this. And if I manage to get it in, it's going to be an absolute miracle. Okay. I have a chance. This is not just a dolly. This is a dolly on a dolly. No, other way. All right, so double dolly. So I'm okay at doing dolly trainers. This is just horrible. And that'll do it. Uh, no, I don't have a second field to do. Don't tell me that. Uh, right, what we are going to do is we are going to... Yeah, there we go. So we own uh, 41 of 33. Those aren't. 40, 45 and 43 are already done. And we are going to sell field 28. Uh, because it's 405 uh, versus 362. So uh, we need this cash back. So... 28 is going to go uh, and we're going to have these three arable fields here and these two grass fields here so there we go uh, and this can go in the shed
Right, so next up. What is this finished with? This is part of the reason why I've left the truck down here at the shop. Is it's really easy for us to, to get up here. Um, so next up, we want to have a look and see what we've got. So medium tractors. See, medium tractors, I could very easily grab this 7200 series here. Now, this should be an American config. It is, which is fantastic. It's also got not got the horrible stuff down the side. Uh, Goodwheel brands. See, nice set of wheel configuration. So, absolutely fits this map perfectly. New front, old front. Oh, wow. We could go on the old front setup as well. That's pretty cool. Uh, we can put a front loader on it as well, which is what I really want to do. Uh, and then this is going to be our old, like our old timey tractor. Uh, we uh, won't put GPS on it. Uh, but yeah, we can put a front loader on this and this then can be a great yard tractor for us. Uh, so I want to grab this. Uh, it's got 155 horsepower, which is useful for us as well. Uh, so I am going to buy that. Uh, now the other tractor I want to get. And we do have a Puma here as well. Uh, but that again is... That's 200... What is that colour? Wow. Massey Case IH. There we go. That's a better colour for that. So the largest we can get on that is two is 270. I think we're gonna want something a bit bigger on our farm. So large tractors. Uh so two more tractors I want to look at. We've got a Magnum here for 245 and a Steiger. So these the Steiger is the one I want. I do want this tractor. This just looks awesome. I hope this mod works. Single weights, single 900, single 900 weights, dual, dual. Wow. God, that has some options. Right, I'm going to go for the wide tyres. Uh, we are going to put GPS on this, even though this never have GPS on it. Um, although, I suppose you could, if you were modernising an old tractor, you could put GPS on this. It looks a lot, it looks an awful lot like a big bud. This does. Right, so, uh, yeah, we want that as well. And that's got that's got more horsepower than our other tractor. That's a little bit ridiculous. Uh, right, this Optum, I don't think, has... Yeah, that's, that's a European uh, Optum, that is. Uh, this Magnum, this is a US series Magnum. Uh, 320 horsepower. Yeah, this is perfect. This is exactly what we want. Uh, we want to go with rear twins on it, I think, maybe? Uh, front attachment, weight rack. This being a US um, base, we're going we're gonna to have to have... A front attacher on there because I want to use this for doing. Um, I want the wide tires. Oh wow, I could track the whole thing. Oh wow, this is a mad setup. Thirty-two inch. Oh, I think we could do the row crop setups. Thirty-two inch, thirty inch, thirty-six inch. I want to use this for... Where's the wide tyres gone? Because I want to use this mainly for doing our grass work. This tractor. There, 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 there. Because it's got a mad setup. Rear tracks. Would you use rear tracks for grass? See, those are wide tyres and weights. That's just wide tyres. Would you use rear tracks for grass? No, that's what I thought. I thought you'd use wide tyres for grass. 
yeah, wide tyres for grass. So we'll we'll put the wide tyres on. Uh, we've got the front attachment, wheel brand, wide single. No, not the Firestones. Michelin's road track. No, cooler track. No. Do you have on the Michelin's the wide tyres, please? Broad. Ooh, broad tyres. Ooh, broad with weights. No. Don't want the weights. Okay. Why do the broad tyres come with weights? Yeah. Can't do the Michelin's. Ooh. Oh, wow. There we go. <laughs> Floater tyres. Yes, that's exactly what we want to use. <laughs> that is a, that is an absolute beast. Now, what are the flashes? No flashes. I can't see. Oh, hang on. Flashes are. Wow. Engine setup. Uh, we don't need more than 320 on this. Uh, we've got much bigger tractors already. Uh, I think that is an absolute beast. Now we do want. Ah, there's GPS. I want the GPS on it. Yes, because it does have a GPS item on it. It's changing them in the beacons, is it? Okay. Oh, as in no flashes. Okay, yeah, we'll go with flashes then. Yeah, that is the beast we're going to go with. That is fantastic. This will also do wonders for lime as well. We need to do some lime spreading. So we're going to buy that tractor. That is an utter beast. That really is. Let's go and have a look at these. So here are our three new tractors. So these are the tractors that round us out. Our mainly grass tractor with these massive flotation tyres on that will do, well, should do very little damage to the grass. Um, our other big tractor for doing um, for doing work, an older Case International uh, Steiger. Uh, and then our final tractor which is 7210, which is slightly older again. Um, and that is going to be our front loader tractor. So, uh, yeah, those are the three we've got. Now, what we want to do next, really, is we need to do some lime spreading. So, let's go and have a look what we have available in our lime spreaders. Now, there is a piece of kit I've got here, but I don't think we can buy it because I don't think we have the money available anymore. Uh, how much do we have? Well, 1,126,000. We've bought most of our tractors. And in our lime spreaders, where's the lime stuff? There it is. Fertilizer technology. Oh, have I not active? Oh, no, no. It wouldn't be here. It'd be here. Fertilizer technology, wherever it is. We do need a front loader still as well. Maybe it's under misc. Nope. It's not under misc. Cocaine, cotton, forestry, animals, crop protection. Here we go. <coughs> oh, they're not that expensive, actually. So we've got the Case Titan here, which we could grab for lime spreading. So we've got that one. So we could get that, which we could do fertilizer and lime spreading with. Or we could do that. Uh, either of which I'm actually quite happy to buy because we've bought most of our tractors now and uh, and we could get that. Boom collision. Yes, we want boom collision credits. Fine, we'll put expendable modding credits on here. I don't know why it's saying credits. Uh, wheel brand, Trailborg, Michelin's on it again. Nice tyres. GPS, yes. 272,000. This is going to throw us below the million, but that is fine. So buy that. Okay. Uh, let's take this and go and fill up with some lime in it, I think. And get that job done. Uh, so we can fertilize with this as well as doing um, as well as doing lime. Right, so we should have a lime station here. Yes, we do. 
start filling the lime and while we're doing that we'll make sure we turn the shuffle on on this so this is going to take quite a lot of lime uh, and we need to check which fields needs lime uh our only field that needs lime double checking yeah is field 41 or uh, 42 so the field that we've just done uh, we should probably put the lime on it first before we went in and did the job we've just done. But this will be fine. So that cost us 3,000 to do that. This really turns on a dime. So fold out. Right, there we go. So, a set that we want to start GPS. Get it going, and away we go. We want to run at 180. Wow, this thing motors. Whoop. Right, that should do it. Right, and with that going... Let's bring this up, auto width, back, and away we go. So I think we will probably pick up with this next time. It is getting pretty dark on here. Uh, but if we, yeah, if we get these headlands limed and sorted, uh, then we can... Uh, it shifts and it's really manoeuvrable. Uh, then what we can do next time is we can finish off getting the line done on this field uh, and start getting... So I want to get the next field over cultivated so we can start getting that done. Uh, loving that. So yeah, we will pick up with this mod on uh, on Wednesday night and get this field lined. Uh, we've got a few bits and pieces to start getting on with on Wednesday. Uh, so getting this field limed is uh, one of them. Uh, we also need to get our. Uh, there we go. Uh, we also need to get uh, planting stuff because we've got enough temperature to plant stuff. So that's all well and good. Uh, we've got our other equipment to get back as well. So we'll be doing that. Um, but yeah, so that is uh, that is where I am going to end it for this evening. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And uh, and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer. And with that, I will see you all later. Uh, thank you very much. Until next time. Goodbye.